I just want it to be known as we get ready to start up that I blame all of my lack of 30,000 subscribers on Casper. All of it. Just to give you guys a little background, what I'll be drinking during this is a total of eight ounces of vodka just spliced through a delicious thousand calorie milkshake. It's beautiful. Shut up! Mrs. Skeen. Shut up! Your little annoying echo voice. God. So we're playing Half-Life because someone paid me to do it. And I've always said, if you want me to do stuff, pay me. Ha. Let's just see what the controls are set to. The latency is a little lower on this, so the quality might not be perfect, but it's Half-Life, so who cares? What was that thud? Oh my gosh, I was getting up to shut the door so you don't wake up your son. Man. Good job on the whiskey. Proud of you. Everything's looking fine. <laughs> Can I? I guess that's the highest resolution. So remember, Half Life was like a 2004 game? No, 1998. Man, my brain. So we're going to do a lot of talking about the history of first person shooters and how, like, Half Life changed everything. Um. Oh good, there is a widescreen mode. Perfect. Let's change that. <clears throat> so, we're going to be going through this and I'm gonna kinda talk to you guys throughout like things that hadn't ever been done before Half-Life. Because they might just seem like rudimentary to you. But if you're not old, you won't appreciate all the crap this game pioneered that all the little Fortnite junk you play wouldn't exist without. We're gonna go hard. <laughs> but we always play the hardest difficulty on this channel. I don't think I've ever even played Half-Life on hard. It's more Good about morning, the story. And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Okay, so this whole idea of a cutscene while you control your character with all the credits and stuff, you've seen that in first person shooters, right? Uh, yeah. This was the first to do it. This idea, this cinematic portrayal of a video game, did not exist before Half Life. You're welcome, says Valve. This train is inbound from level And you have to imagine, this game came out at the same time that, like, Nintendo 64 was the big thing. So, like, Goldeneye, which revolutionized multiplayer, but didn't even have a proper, sh like, uh, strafing mechanic. Oh, crap, it just closed itself. Um, 
if you have not yet was around at the same time as this and graphically they're not even close to black mesa personnel for processing and the depth of this story and everything that happens it's like how did these games come out around the same time doesn't even make sense Quake was fine, it was also around this time, but if you compare like the graphics and physics of Quake to this, again, everything looks sad compared to Half-Life. This game was way ahead of the curve. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the On my computer that really couldn't handle it, but we tried, we tried to get there. And even on that, like, two frames per second, I was just like, wow, what the hell is this? So they probably said, what the heckin' is this, so my parents wouldn't beat me. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Also, if you guys want to make this into, like, the Wii Scheme Needs a Less Demonic Chair stream, hit me with drunken donations I can stop you of course with you know all this shit going on probably nobody has money but whatever if you're a broke person just watch my other videos and don't skip the ads that's how you can show me love Killzone was one of the best looking first person shooters for its time but it didn't have much else going for it that's, that's the thing that makes Half-Life different. It wasn't just the graphical advantage it had. It changed physics, gameplay, storytelling. The, the story of it's been ripped off of by like every sci-fi first-person shooter that comes since. And the people who keep mentioning Doom, Doom is the game that made first-person shooters work. And it revolutionized that, because Wolfenstein didn't really work that well. And that was about the only other thing he had. But this was like, uh, several years after Doom. This was, this was how you continue from Doom. How you go from Doom to first-person shooters of today. It's a huge step. It was almost as big of a step as Doom. There's an argument to be made that it's on the same level as Doom with what it did for first-person shooters. Kayla, thank you! Someone wants me to have a good chair. But this will be interesting to see how my history continues the more inebriated I get. But my plan is to make this into a drunken history lesson of Half-Life while I'm trying to beat it on hard. Why not? That's what we do on this channel. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or yeah, I've shown Doom a lot of love on this channel. In the course of your duties, oh yeah, there's the creepy guy staring at me. You never really know who he is. He appeared in the train and disappeared. Like, tiny little images like that. Little symbolism, little story nuggets. Nobody was looking for that. And nobody even knew to look for it. But here's Half-Life. About 15 years ahead of itself. Apparently the Half-Life VR is crazy good too, Please but stand back from the we'll see if VR ever catches on. If VR ever becomes a big thing, uh, we're going to know that Half-Life had probably a big thing to do with it because it's the first VR game I've heard that doesn't just feel like an awful, dizzying gimmick. Costco pizza is life. What? Mumble, mumble over there. You told me not to talk. Yeah, so don't mumble later. My wife. So kids, when your mom bothers you playing video games and you get married, she's replaced by your wife bothering you playing video games. Just know that before you go in for that sweet, sweet poo tang. Yeah, that's what you're getting yourself into comes with the price. Uh, another thing to note, like these whole NPCs idea, fully voice act with like animations for talking, yeah that wasn't a thing at this time. 
if characters had a face that looked like anything that was flat and plastered on. They didn't follow you, they didn't have mechanics to actually interact with you as an NPC that wasn't trying to kill you. And they certainly didn't have full voice acting. Like this Freeman. might look primitive to you, for you but, we had a system crash but this was unheard of in the 90s. Just one of those days, I guess. <laughs> they were having some problems down in the test Like the fact, too, I remember one thing that tripped me out me on this sure was the fact that he even had his down. index finger separated from the rest of his hand. Because at that time, hands were just blocks. It's kind of like when you were a kid and you were starting to draw fingers. You're like, no, fuck that, not drawing the fingers. That was every video game at the time. So the idea that they actually made an attempt at some sort of fingers there was nuts. I don't know what I'm waiting for because I've been talking too much. I'll just walk. Shut up, woman! I'm sorry you guys have to deal with her incessant nagging like I do all the time. Have you been able to get the beverage machine to work yet? Have you been able to get the Absolutely. beverage machine to work yet? I do like that the voice acting sounds like it was just recorded in a bad recording booth. But hey, at least they tried. Fantastic to get some pure readings for a change? can't imagine how much they had to compress those files to fit into the game file size of the time. It's like a two kilobyte audio file. It's impressive if they were even to make it audible. Oh, there's the creepy guy again. He haunts you through all the Half-Life games. I'm authorized. You know I can't let you through here. Why? Jerk. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Get out of my way. It's Albert Einstein. Oh, well, we got good people on staff. Greetings! Like, listen to how bad their voices sound. But still, they have voices! That was huge! Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I yeah, got to Mrs. King not here. to let you through without your hazard suit on. Fine, I'll get a hazard suit! Oh, bitch. Wanting to just follow all the ring. And for those of you who are waiting for horribly sung, auto-tuned to the wrong key Disney songs, we wait until we're killing people for that. Hello. There's gonna be a hot minute on this game before that happens. Because there was actually story development! I mean, some games that come out now don't even have that. It's insane. I wonder if I should Where's my suit? Again. Where's Gordon or whatever? There, I could get this suit. Maybe? Has that suit? I want it. Eh. Eh. What's my clicky click button? Oh. As I expected. Yes, clicky click button. You got a problem with that? Whatever. Nobody cares. I hope those containment parameters. What? Honey, where's my super suit? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice uh, Incredibles reference. You win. Alright, I'm just gonna see if there's a press button button that I'm not knowing how to press. Let's see. It's probably some stupid button it shouldn't be. Hmm. Where's use? Yeah, no, why would I have- it? no, no. Fixed. Ha! Yay! Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. Please can't be bothered. Get out of here, Einstein. You'll just have to wait until after the test. 
<laughs> this is that techno music. This is like a more a more pizza is where I want to go eat pizza. You guys are having weird conversations in the chat, aren't you? Ah, hello, Gordon. Look at this. I can actually you. click stuff and get soda. There's no reason for this. They just wanted the world to feel more realistic and interactive. To let you be immersed in the game. Attention to details important, kids. And they knew. My God. Hey. Ha! <laughs> I set off the alarm. Come on, Gordon! No, I've not heard of fresh picked pizza. Excuse me, Gordon. Pizza shouldn't be picked. So I don't know about all that. Um, Casper, for someone to do YouTube full time, it would depend on what they're trying to make as a good living. I think the average American makes, what, 30, 35K a year or something sad like that. Um, a good wage for single income is somewhere around 45, 50. So to get that on YouTube after tax, uh, well, the other thing you have to factor in is you don't get any benefits on YouTube. So really for YouTube to make the equivalent of like 45,000, you'd probably have to be making closer to like 60 or 65 for benefits. Depending on your marketing, how much, how long your videos are, how much merch you sell, and crap like that. To get to that level, uh, depending on your content and stuff, probably around a couple hundred thousand subscribers would get you there. Would get you to that where it's like a normal wage. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Oh, wrong one. Where's the one where he said I just need my hazmat suit? I haven't been paying attention. Um, but yeah, probably a few hundred thousand. And then for like a six-figure territory, you're probably going to be closer to the million sub range, depending on your channel interaction. Sometimes a million sub can mean like a quarter million a year. Just depends on your content. There's some finance channels that have like 300,000 that are making well over a hundred. There you go. So it depends on the, the length of your content, click-throughs and crap like that. What I already said, but Mrs. Scheme wanted to sound like right someone in my comment sure. section. Looks like you're in the barrel Trying games. to prove me wrong when I wasn't no, wrong. I wasn't trying to prove you wrong. I'm just saying it really doesn't... You need a drink? You sound uptight. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we should not do a two-player game. Mrs. Scheme is the worst person to play video games with, aren't you, Mrs. Scheme? You could say that louder. I said hell no, we're not playing video games. Because why? If you can't hear, she said she's the worst. I purposely don't play competitive games because I'm a jerk. Yeah, she's the worst person to play a video game with ever. I tried it several times. I bought a video game console made for two-player games, the Wii U, just because I wanted to play two-player games with her. It just doesn't work. She is like Satan on wheels. No, 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 no. That is a very poor representation of what happens. Mario Party. So what Mrs. Scheme is referring to. No, 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 no. What Mrs. Scheme is referring to is when you play an hour-long game of Mar Mario Party in which Mrs. Scheme does not win or even place in a single mini game. She's like third or fourth place in every mini game, but she wins because of her dice rolls. And at the end of the game, I go, well, that was a stupid game. Not even that mad, just like annoyed. And she's like, see, you get mad too. But when Mrs. Scheme is mad, we'll be playing Mario Kart, and like, nothing's really happening. I throw a red shell like I should at her, and it hits her, and she starts cussing everything out and acting like our relationship is now in question. That's the difference here. Scheme, slightly frustrated that the game cheated after all of the skill requirements of the game were not met by the person you were playing against. Mrs. Scheme, play the game correctly against her, 
You are dead to her now. Play your freaking game. You know I'm right. You know what? You get mad if I beat you at Mario Kart. No, again, my level of mad is I'm frustrated that I lost, not like I'm trying to destroy the world. <laughs> okay. There's a difference. Everyone gets mad when they lose. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but... Hey, thanks for the fuck the evil chair the donation. I'm very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some All right, you three it. asshole doctors are gonna send me into this fucking portal beam, and then the monsters are gonna crab monsters are gonna come after me. They're gonna kill all of you. I'm gonna have a fucking crowbar. It's gonna be on me to fix everything, cause that's what happens. Are you sure you? Of course not. No, no one's checked anything, Einstein. So we're all gonna die. Get out of my way, NPC. You'll just have to wait until after the test. <laughs> I like how every doctor looks the same, though. But at least there's character modeling. Uh-oh, they just ran away. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Yeah, they're not happy. It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Why aren't I at a million yet? I don't know, that's your guys' fucking problem. One of the re- Hey, I was getting there! One of the main reasons you get to a million subscribers is because people share your content. I see the analytics, I know how often you guys share or don't share shit. So this is your fault. I make content that you enjoy. The algorithm doesn't help that much. It does a little bit. It's you all. You make the algorithm. So you are the blame. Eddie Ace! How are you, you bastard? Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. That's what Eddie Ace said to me. Please, leave me alone. You like all the little mini loads while you're just walking down in the middle of a hallway? They hadn't figured out that quite yet. Because, you know... It was the 90s. The fact that this was happening on screen shouldn't have been possible. So forgive them for little loads. analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yeah, for good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. It's a pure sample. Sample. Follow standard insertion procedures. He doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Your breath is awful. Demonstrated that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right, Gordon. We have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Let's let him in now. Well, if your friends say I'm weird, then your friends are normal, which means they're lame. Normal people suck. Isn't that right, Mrs. Testing. Testing. Are you saying you're normal or not normal? Huh? Yeah, I know that. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be Deliver so me the specimen. Climb up and start the rotors. We I was just up there. The Open the damn thing so I could start them. And hold it there until Thank the you. Arrives. Yeah, yeah. Alright, shit's about to go down, folks. Uh, don't trigger me over there with the what's normal or normal doesn't exist shit. I will fucking school you that normal exists and I will come find you, cut off one of your balls and make you eat it for doing that cliched, incorrect, idiotic idea that normal doesn't exist. Normal fucking exists, you idiots! Mm -hmm. No webcam, because I can't play games of the damn mess. And I can't drink while I play with the mask and I didn't want to drink. Gordon, we cannot predict how long this is going to 
For anyone who hasn't been here, I'm drinking just lots of vodka. Eight ounces of vodka and milkshake. It's wonderful. Okay. Alright, we're still waiting. Soon enough, shit's going down. I don't want to vomit in the mask. Yeah, see, that's bad. Mrs. Scheme thinks it'd be funny. <laughs> the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be blah, 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 blah. Eight ounces is a lot of vodka. So, yeah. yeah. That's not the amount you should drink. How many shots? I mean, a shot's probably like, what, half to 0.75 of an ounce? <coughs> so it's probably close to 10 shots. Shot, 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 shot. Yes, that was a vodka chocolate shake. It's one of my favorite things to make because I like chocolate shakes and I like vodka. It's great. All right, they're telling me to go on in to die. Hold on. I had to refill my drink. Yeah, I know. I need to push the doohickey into the thing. Like, movable objects also didn't really exist in first-person shooters at this time. The number of things is pioneer. Get away from the field! Oh no! It's not It's not shutting down. It's not shutting down. Oh my god, who could have predicted this? All of our equipment was exploding before the experiment. I can't believe this went wrong. You have auto-tuned Wii Scheme, so wh why are you demanding... Oh, an auto-tuned Wii Scheme. You already have that, too. The song Dad Jokes by Wii Scheme. He's auto-tuned. Jerk. Oh. Mm. Well, this is a wonderful little planet. Oh. Uh. And those are friendly looking dudes. I think these guys actually heal you in Half-Life 2. Unforeseen consequences. They were foreseen by anyone with a brain. Alright, now we go through the gory aftermath and the game has shit start to get real. Axel to more. There we go. And the zombies and stuff are here. Not yet. You're, you're not gonna revive a Einstein. Good try, though. Appreciate your effort. Oh, he exploded! You see that? And now I'm stuck? Uh oh, game glitch. I don't think I was supposed to move that fast. Uh, is there like a no clip cheat? I don't remember. Oh crap. Uh, let's see, what would it be? No clip. I don't know if I have that enabled to work. There might have to be a cheat sequence. Yep, I need the cheat sequence. Uh, what's the cheat sequence? Does anyone remember? Because I need to unclip myself. SV cheats, there we go. Zero. No clip. I have no idea if this is gonna work. It's been a long time. Nope, that didn't work. Dang it. Maybe? Maybe? SVG one. Oh, that's right. It's coding. Okay. No clip. Aha! We're gonna turn no clip back off. We're not trying to cheat on this game. I just got stuck because of a glitch. Hooray! We're unstuck. No god mode or anything. We're just... I didn't want to restart from a checkpoint because of a game glitch. Let's be silly.
Heidi, you did not turn out okay. You are not a good case for giving children alcohol. That'd be like saying I would be a good case for that. Thank you, Steven Yarnell. I hope we scheme turns out like whoever he wants to be that's not a complete asshole. I no, not of the two of us, just whoever he wants to be. I hope not. He could do without it. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Thanks. What? Well, the dimensional breach is definitely trying to be I don't think you have hyper intelligence without a lot of mental illness. So I think those are hand in hand. Find any hyper intelligent person that doesn't like have a bunch of mental issues. Look! I thought you said you were gonna help me, dude! Let's go, Morgan Freeman! Weirdo Albert Yankovic! Ah! That looks dangerous! I don't want you to hit me! I can see you have the hair. What hair? Weird Al's hair? Yeah, no. Weird Al's curly, weird Al's hair. I'm almost dead and I have no weapon yet! That's how ruthless this game's being right now. That looks deadly. That's Everything's exploding! Everything's exploding! Oh, that tuned me to the wrong key. Thanks, Auto-Tune. It made me go down. Got my o bar Yeah, Eddie, you gotta mop it up. It's all you. Oh, 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 No, they're not gonna be okay after that. That's unfortunate. You don't take the elevator when there's a fire! It's like rule one of safety school or something. Oh shit! Oh, someone's dying now. Oh, oh, big old monster guy. I do find it interesting like how violent this game was in cool creative sci-fi ways and just instead of just generic gore. I do find this annoying, this trope. See my gun's out of ammo. They did the cool thing of having it permanently cocked back like a gun out of ammo. Uh, props for that. But guns, when they're out of ammo, don't keep making that clicky noise. That's a Hollywood thing. Don't believe it, kids. The only sound they make is the sound of you literally physically pulling on the trigger, which is not an audible sound. No! Yawn in my room! There are rules. Huh? Oh, well, there's not enough monsters yet for Disney. We have to be in, like, a spot where life is just miserable. We're not there yet. We're going there. Yeah, I'm just going there. They're taking too many hits. And I don't have bullets. Where's our life bullets? And a bash right through me. The stupidest motivational speaker ever, South Park. Yay, ammo! I think there's a health thing somewhere in here. Uh, yay! What's a DreamWorks song? What the fuck? What's a fucking DreamWorks song? <laughs> Probably something by Smash Mouth. Awesome. 
Actually, I think All Star is in C major, so if I try to sing it, it might actually sound somewhat tuned the right way. Hold on. I can't do it if I can hear it because there's a delay, so let me take my headphones off. <clears throat> I don't remember where I'm going now, but we're singing a DreamWorks song. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed She was looking kinda dumb with a finger and a thumb And a shape of an L on her forehead Well, the years stop coming and they don't stop something I set the rules and I hit the ground running Did it make sense not to live for fun? Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb So much to do, so much to see So what's wrong with taking the back street? You never know if you don't go You never shine if you don't glow Hey now, you're a rock star Get your game on, go play Hey now, you're an all-star Get the show on, get paid I switched the all-rock star and all-star And all that glitters is gold Only shooting stars break the mold It's a cool place and they say it gets colder You're bundled up now, wait till you get older But the media man begs to differ Judging by the hole in the side of life picture The ice we skate is getting pretty then the world's getting warm so we might as well swim world's on fire how about yours that's the way i like it and i'll never get bored hey now you're a rock star wait all star get the game on go play hey now you're a rock star get the show on get paid and all that glitters is yellowed only shooting stars break the mold Hello, you lost star! Yay! Is is what? Oh, like the the paper company? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Our printer company and this one is important. Yeah, but they get bought yes. by them, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter either. <laughs> Nobody cares. A death metal song. Uh, I don't think I know any by heart. I saw a ghost. He's just watching some Wii stream. Look at him go! He loves it! <laughs> what? Somebody asked if we can do impressions. Of what? No, just can't do it. Probably not very well with fucking auto-tune going except for BUY YOU A DRINK! Whee! I'ma take you home with me! Money in the bank! Shorty, what you think about that? Find me in the great Cadillac! We in the bad light! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, talk to me! Something, something! Kill these motherfuckers cause they're trying to kill me! We did not get Rick rolled. No, you can't rickroll yourself. You rickrolled everyone else. You're making it less cool than it was. Reloading is for simps. 
except I need to change the reload button because R for reload is a joke. Uh, I'm not buying Mrs. Game nothing. Yes. Ooh, that can buy me some wings and fries from. You don't need wings and fries from Buffalo. You see what you started? Now she wants food. Now I have to feed this woman. You don't understand. R for reload is a freaking standard for freaking morons that don't have a mouse with a center button. Casper, is this the second time I'm yelling at you this stream? Dear God. The reason R is the default button on this is because when this game came out, there were no mouse wheels on a lot of mice. It's not because it's a good button. It's because the technology wasn't there when this game came out. Most games didn't have reloading anyway. I'm looking at you, Doom. Thank you for no reloads. Huh? How old is Captain Smoke? I'm just oh, how am I dead already? I'm just guessing for him asking how old is this game. It's probably... You don't know how old Captain Smoke is. Nobody cares how old Captain Smoke is. Not even Captain Smoke cares. Bye, whoever. Well, no, I didn't hear the name. Because all you're doing is rain. I have two health. That's promising. Why is everyone funding this wings and fries thing? You realize she's not going to get this money until April 21st. So she's going to have to wait for those wings and fries. Oh my god, now I'm dead from the little crab herpes. Put one on a shirt, buddy. Oh, no, 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 electric man! Run away! Oh, get off me, herpes crab. Sorry, I need a drink. So we've got stupid donations for Buffalo Wild Wings, which isn't even good. But what about me not having a broken ass bone? Having a better chair. You guys' priorities are whack! Oh good, I'm drowning now. That was backfired wonderfully. Oh no, it's Electric Man again. No, 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 drop, drop. There must be another way. Or, aha. Ah, I can't, hey. Ah, yeah, go away Electric Man. Wings, etc. See, I love Wings, etc. So much better than B Dubs. Ugh. B Dubs is terrible compared to Wings, compared to Wings, etc. Uh, she only minds the yelling if we scheme is woken up by it. Speaking of, is he still sleeping soundly? Good job. Ah! Crap, the monsters. Go away, crap, the monsters. I'll still be scheming 42 at gmail.com. It won't verify the other email because it's a whore. Oh, you're trying to advertise how YouTube doesn't get a pay. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's fine. I mean, it's nice that YouTube doesn't get a cut. Oh, did he. Did, did you see that? He ramboed me. Crab herpy monsters shouldn't have those abilities. I guess uh, hard mode don't play on Half Life. Like I said, I've never played Half Life on hard before, so it's interesting. Uh, oh, look at him go! Well, that didn't work. See ya. Like 35%. Pretty. Oh, I'm dead. Two two bites. Damn face hugger. Oh, it's because I only have 17 health. That's cool. 
Well, what YouTube rewards you back after that, you know, hefty 35% is the fact that they like like to help your algorithm if people donate. Because they're like, oh, you made us money. We'll advertise your shit. Thanks, YouTube. It's uh, one of the sauces for wings. Mrs. Scheme's a mild buffalo gal. Without internet would be like very scary. Uh, oh no. Uh, that's a good way for me to end up like Jack from The Shining. I don't think you want that. This is not. This is not very doable with this little health. But I don't know if I could go back and get more health because I feel like I'm gonna get hit no matter what right there. Like when you land. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to try to figure this out. I don't know and I don't care. Like, you are hardly picked up. You're like an echo. Um, get yeeted. You're a disgrace to your entire nationality. There's no rip and tear in this game. Look, the whiskey's fine, but I'm on a vodka kick right now, so maybe if I kill this guy before I land. Well, of course it's whipped cream vodka, it's in a milkshake. I feel like that'd be assumed that it's whipped cream vodka. It's not assumed, you just don't do vodka correctly. Well, fine, some sort of delicious vodka. That's not just regular vodka. Which guy controls? Isn't that Justin Timberlake? Not the guy from Trolls? Did you fucking call Justin Timberlake the guy from Trolls? If that's what just happened, I, I need to murder someone. Like, seriously. I, I, I don't give a shit what they said. If you were referring to Justin Timberlake's character in any way in Trolls as the guy from Trolls, you should just... <sighs> Who the fuck said that anyway? Uh, Captain Smoke. Oh, Captain Smoke. <sighs> Captain Smoke clearly, uh... You were dropped on your head several times as a child, so maybe I shouldn't be too mean to you. How many ounces you down? I don't know, I've got half of this left. The rest is gone. Guys, he has a picture. They can't hear you. You're too quiet. Okay, hey guys, he had a pitcher full. Uh-huh, pitcher full of vodka. Now it's gone. Almost. Don't worry about it. That's disgusting. If I stand up, it's gonna be rough, so we're just not gonna do that. But you know what all this vodka means? I'll probably have to switch to Doom at some point. It just only feels right. Rip and tear others. Oh, I died! I didn't grab the ladder. I splattered. It seems excessive for that little of a fall. Port of vodka? Uh, no. How much? It's only like it was only eight ounces of vodka, guys. Calm down. It's just a giant milkshake. It was a delicious milkshake, like a thousand calories. Why? Why do you keep interrupting me? No, I looked at the ingredients I was putting in there. It's a thousand calories. Do my research.
Ah, I got them out of that time. I got one bullet. I'm gonna take over the world with one bullet. Oh, no, I'm not. This is bad for me. Ah, these little monsters. I only have one bullet. I won't even kill them. Yay, health. Oh. Recipe for milkshake is ice cream, milk, chocolate syrup, and a shit ton of vodka. It's not that hard, guys. So, okay, we're going to talk about Half-Life again for a second. This whole idea of, like, moving boxes to make yourself platforms to jump over an obstacle in a first-person shooter game... Yeah, that, that did not exist at all. Not, in fact, a lot of first-person shooter games now don't even have mechanics that complicated. This is from the 90s, folks. So ahead of its time. At least it's not underappreciated. People appreciate Half-Life appropriately, which I'm glad. Huh? Don't fall! No! What is my fucking path? What is that, some Buddhist shit? <laughs> I don't care if I put Buddhist references in my song. It's in a song, I'm trying to throw people off. Yes, platforming time. Still not as annoying as Doom platforming. But still annoying. No! Shut up! I, you you interrupted me. No, I was. You're not paying attention to what's happening right now. I was singing because of what was happening around me. It was relevant. You were just doing random shit. <laughs> Sometimes you shut up. That's oh, why we're really? married. Yay, platforming and first-person shooters, my favorite thing, as you all know. And this scheme is making it so much better. I thought WN was going to win the contest, too, until April went out and made an hour-long video. Like... Okay, these sensitivity, like, is there a way, there, I, I need to find the walk button on this, because I'm constant, there's the walk button, thank goodness. The, the constant sprinting is not ideal for this, so I found the walk button, that should help. There we go. Hooray! Walk button. This guy is like he's on ice skates. Mrs. Scheme, who's your favorite YouTuber? Um. Are you even on the live stream anymore? Or are you just making yeah, noise down there? Uh, I, I just typed. What'd you type? You're not forgiven, Saber. So I like, like Graham Stephan and like Ben Shapiro. And ben Shapiro, and you right wing and communist like evil. And... So apparently, my wife is alt right. She likes Ben Shapiro. Yes, because. Don't start! Don't start! Don't do it! My channel does not approve of this conversation. It is now done. Please don't. Who's your favorite artist? I don't know what you answer. Well, Phil, this won't hurt a bit. They asked you. Thanks for whatever, Einstein. If I had bullets, I'd still kill you. But I don't. You're about to get eaten anyway. Ooh, I almost got eaten. 
Don't do it. That thing's gonna get you if you keep following me. And now you're blocking my path. We're both screwed now. Dumb Einstein. Oh, someone got nommed. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. We scheme Putin confirmed. Perfect. See what happens when you mention this stuff? Drink wild turkey. That stupid much to do about nothing movie. Oh yeah. It's awful. It's great. At least it has Patrick Stewart in it. Other than that, it's <laughs> awful. Patrick Stewart is not in that movie. Uh, then I don't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Who's in it then? There's someone in it that I actually care terrible. about. Well, Keanu Reeves. Stop talking to me. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to Einstein. He's dead now, so he stopped talking to me. Don't lie, you were probably also talking to me. Not that time. I'm not afraid to say to shut up to you. Probably some potato. Um, actual band? Probably Blue October, but not their recent stuff. You're welcome. Thank you. But I like Broadway. And Disney. So. I don't know if they can even hear you answering. I um, think they can, but I don't know for sure. Oh, okay. You're probably better off typing, because you're going to be kind of quiet. <sighs> Tight. My thumbs are tired. They say they can hear. I can hear you a little bit in the thing, but it's, it's quiet. I don't know what you asked, Captain Smoke. You can't spell. Oof. Spell shaming. I don't know where to go. Jeez. Oh, I need to push a couch, maybe. I don't want to go up there. Those guys are mean. Oh. I guess I have to? I don't know. What are you owing now? <laughs> what? Auto-tune Mrs. Scheme sounds like a 10-year-old. I think I probably are. Yeah, Mrs. Scheme sounds like a 10-year-old regardless. I, how many times do I have to answer this damn question? I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know the answer at this point. <laughs> well, then no one gets to know. I don't know where to go. Where to go. I don't know where to go soon. It's time for doom. We had our history lesson about Half-Life. Is Joker vs. Pennywise? Yes, I know that! <laughs> okay. Uh, luckily, other people know, unlike you. I know a lot of things. No, you don't. Yeah, but clearly you don't listen. Well, I... You just proved that, so that means you don't know nothing. What the hell is Warhammer? I'm grumpy every night. 
This is my normal status. We scheme watches my videos more than this is. Alright, I'm done. We're playing Doom. I'm sorry, I'm busy. We could play Doom 64, maybe. That's an old school Doom. Doom -de -doom -de -doom. Thanks, Kerr. Okay, in my defense on the Joker versus Pennywise favorite no defense. thing, Scheme talks about a lot of things. Nope. All the time. So, while well, maybe obviously you all blah. what his favorite is. Um, Mrs. Scheme likes to justify her ignoring everything I do by saying I do too many things. It's sad. <laughs> I'm gonna sing the Doom song! Doom, 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 So we're playing Doom 64. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever played Doom 64. So this is all new. Doom 64 came out at a really weird time, so no one really played it. I think it's finally getting love again because they gave it to you free when you pre-ordered Doom Eternal. So I'm kind of excited for this. I have no idea what to expect. Do not talk while I'm talking about playing Doom for the first time. Come on! Someone made a dad joke. Okay, that's fine. I'll look at it later. Yeah, the constipated joke. All right, so this is Doom 64. I could see one of the reasons no one remembered it. If this is a representation of what the game's going to look like. These are character models reminiscent of, you know, not Nintendo 64. Because you you have 3D areas with 2D character models. That's uh, kind of lame. So there's my first indication of why Doom 64 wasn't very well known. But we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of disappointed that we don't have 3D models. I was hoping to see really janky Nintendo 64 era 3D models. But no, we're not even going to see that. That's a real big bummer. What? Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Hopefully it's fine. What? Do you think the Sega Genesis was before its time? Here we go on a rant. Wait, there's no nightmare? Be gentle, bring it on, I own doom, watch me die. I guess watch me die, since there's no nightmare. Alright, that's two strikes. Two strikes against this doom right away. Oh, I'm already dying now too, that's cool. But let's see what this doom does well, if anything. Because again, this is the Forgotten Doom. Ugh, controls are ugly on this. I think I'd be better off doing... I don't know. I do not like the controls. This mouse sensitivity is whack. Let's try to fix that. Oh, you're not gonna rant? Rant about what? Why is there a rant associated with that? Because you've ranted on it before. The Sega Genesis? Yes. No, I have not. I uh, maybe the Sega Dreamcast? I might rant at the fact that people are mixing up the Dreamcast and the Genesis right now. Those are not close. Oh, wait, there's a pinky on the first level? That's overkill, guys. Calm down. Thank you for the money, Captain Smoke. I don't know what czars are, but... Yeah. Hopefully it's money. No, I did not play Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Why am I dying so fast? 
fast without anything even happening. This game's interesting, I guess. Alright, so apparently there's going to be a pinky that spawns. Because why not on the very first level? Just get right into it. The pinkies look really cool on this game, though. And I like some of the gore animations, like... This isn't all bad, but it's definitely, like... For when this came out, which was probably... Was this before or after the game we were just playing Half-Life? I'm gonna Google that. Hold on. June 64... All right, Doom 64 was 1997. Which means, a year later, Half-Life came out. So, you got Doom 64 and Half-Life less than 12 months later. Compare what we just saw to this. So that's why this is the forgotten Doom. When you compare this to, like, the original Doom, this looks like a cool little upgrade. When you think about when it came out, it's just like, why? Why did you do this? But let's enjoy it for what it is. Which is crap. Hey! Tangled? Nah. I, I, that's... Tangled's odd because, like, it has a huge cult following everyone talking about it being, like, the greatest thing. But when you look at it, like, from a review standpoint, what most people think, it's, like, rated appropriately. It's, like, kind of okay. But it has this really loyal following that it doesn't deserve that I don't understand. <laughs> said probably likes Frozen. I do like Frozen. I have no idea if they saw my video. I do like Frozen. I like Moana better, but I like Frozen. But Tangled is... It has cool elements to it, but Disney had not figured out CG movies when Tangled came out. The formula, how to make them look good, how to do music in them effect effectively, like musical numbers that actually stick with you. It's rough. It's a very okay movie, and that's how most people remember it, except for a tiny subset that's like... Tangled's better than Frozen and Moana! And I'm like, no, Tangled is not even on the same level of Frozen or Moana. And most everyone acknowledges that, except for this weird little subreddit that spawned little minions who like to rewrite history, acting like Tangled was something that it's not. So I'm sorry. I think Tangled was great. It was forgettable. I see The Light is probably one of the best, if not the best, Musical duet in Disney movies. Why? It's beautiful. How is it beautiful? It's so much prettier than like. Pretty in what way? In a pop song way? Because it is. No, it's it ain't not a musical poppy. number. It's not poppy at all. No. Don't don't try don't try to no, sell. Writer, it's where they fall in love officially. Yeah, don't try to sell Tangled right now. Yes, that's a cute little song, but it's not a cute song, which is not nearly as good as you try to just sell it now. Does not make it a great... You, I, I know you honestly don't think it's on the same level as Moana and Frozen, because we've talked about this. No, I don't. So there's no point in you trying to make that case right there. I'm just saying I love the music the Okay, that's fine. But it's still not anywhere near where Moana and Frozen are. Yeah, I like Flynn Rider. He's cool. Um, but again, these things you're bringing up do not make Tangled into a movie that's nearly as good as other movies. I don't understand why people like Brave. Wait, people like Brave? I didn't know anyone liked Brave. Kayla says, I feel like Brave was underappreciated. And Maelstrom says that they love Brave. Why, guys? Please, guys, explain to me why you like Brave. 
What are the redeeming qualities? It's animation's ugly, so we can't talk about that. So what was good about it? Like, I'm genuinely curious. I've, I've never heard someone say something good about Brave. The best I've heard it reviewed was mediocre, and even that's kind of stretching it. What, what's good about that game, that movie? Is Aladdin still your favorite Disney movie? Or... I don't know. Aladdin's my favorite, like, movie as a kid, but I don't know how good it is of a movie. Is no one gonna tell me why Brave is good? Because th that still doesn't make sense to me. I and mean, it's legitimately the first time I've heard that. Have you ever heard anyone say Brave is good? No. Okay, I'm not alone in that. We actually own Brave, but that's because somebody gave it to us. Because they didn't want it either. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna return it, but then I didn't know where they got it from or anything. <laughs> no one wanted to take um, it back. I, Thank you, Benjamin. I think I've only seen half of Ratatouille. Ratatouille's great. I don't know that I've seen the whole thing. It's good. It's very underappreciated. I'm sure I'll watch it with these. So you're just saying because they talk about other cultures, it's a good movie. That's a really bad reason to say something's a good movie. Like, most of the Disney movies are lore from other countries. Or they're French. It's one of those. It's either lore from a random country or France. Uh, cars, I don't like. I don't like any of them. I think I might have had, like, a soft spot for maybe Cars 1 or Cars 3 if I was young when they came out. But seeing as I was an adult when they came out and compared to other Pixar movies or even Disney movies, they're just not good. I've got no love for Cars. I don't know where I'm going, guys. I'm supposed to be finding a blue key card somewhere and it's just not happening. He's a liquor guy. Yeah, I don't like beer. I'm all liquor. The Incredibles is great. Great stuff. Well, Doom 64 is losing more points on this first mission. First of all, this map design is really hokey, and the visuals of it are super boring. And secondly... Why am I already lost this quickly into a Doom game? I like Mulan, but I don't think you do. I just don't care about Mulan. I don't think it's bad, necessarily. I've just always been bored. Like, it's like this kind of action sort of thing, but it was never entertaining action. I think... I don't know. It's just because I'm a boy and I'm like, I want blood and violence and cool action. And it was just this really subdued action. It's hard to make a movie about war when it's a kid's movie and have it work. Um, yes, I like Coco. Coco's great. It's beautiful. Um, it's not a movie that I go to to like watch though. Like it's a it's a long. It's just not you need I, to watch. I, it's not just something I like would think of like oh I'm gonna turn Coco on. It's not a casual watcher. All right, so apparently Doom sixty four is dead to me too. Let's see if I could just get cheat codes to make this more fun. Um, Monsters Inc. The the original Monsters Inc. was great. Hilarious. Uh, Monsters University. We don't talk about Monsters University. It never happened. Don't blaspheme Monsters Inc. like that. I'm sorry for saying that a movie that doesn't exist is shit. Apology considered. Thanks. Back to Doom Eternal. Let's die a lot. What? John Hurt said, that's funny. What's funny? Do you know that if you ask Rick Astley to borrow his Pixar collection, he'll give you every movie except one? <sighs> He's never going to give you up. That's the stupidest thing I've heard tonight. I You've heard a lot of stupid things. Yes, Monty Python, the Holy Grail. 
Like we wouldn't play that. Your mother was a hamster. Your father smelled to end the berries. We are the knights who say me! We are no longer the knights who say me. Doom Slayer's not making it into Super Smash Brothers, but that would be great. I'm sure id Software would be all about it. I don't know about Nintendo. Think about as mature as they're gonna go is Solid Snake. Emperor's new I see, I don't I don't feel the same love that you do. I, I enjoy that movie, but I think thinking it's like a pretty good movie is about correct. I don't think it's like this masterpiece. It's just very it's the funniest one of those movies I've ever seen, but not the best. It's just the funniest. I'll give it that. It's very funny. And I'm just like, beyond that, it's not very emotionally impacting. It's just kind of there. But it's hilarious. Can't take that away. Why am I already hurting? That was very silly of me. Alright, I'll just get on the mirror rocket launcher. Oh, I can't, mommy. Oh, never mind. Uh, if you all haven't seen, there's this great GIF going around about coronavirus. You said GIF, they're gonna come for you now. <laughs> I don't care. That's what it is. But yeah, there's great GIF from, uh... Um, Stop saying Python. it! This is the internet! Stop saying that! <laughs> this is why you're not a personality on YouTube. You don't know what things you can't I say. There's a thing from Monty Python. Oh yeah? Is it the is it the two I stupid guards? I said it to you the other day. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, where they're running the Yeah, Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so they just Unlimited power. You've, you've done this to yourself. There's no logic in this argument. Like, why would you just... You don't... The things you just don't do. Is he awake? Oh, I didn't do it. I'm sure you did. He probably woke up going, Mom, no! Don't say that on the internet. Alright, Mrs. Scheme is gone for now. We'll see if we Scheme goes back to sleep or not. I'm not killing you, Big Spider, yet. I need to kill all the little guys first. Damn it! Oh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> What the hell? Are you trying to say Ratatouille up there? Wait, how did you... That's cheap. Oh, what the fuck even just hit me just- Oh, really? I dropped onto that asshole? Well, that really screwed my chances on this run. Whatever.
Now, kids, if you're new to Doom Eternal, one of the big things you want to do is try to kill all the little bad guys before the big ga bad guys. Because the little bad guys on Nightmare Mode can hurt you just as bad as the big ones. And the big ones are slower. The little ones are faster. They're secretly the biggest danger. So you got to find them all, kill them all, harvest them for some ammo and armor, and then take care of the big assholes. Or you know. Oh, he just hit me. Oh, the little guy like this bastard. These guys, they're the ones that are gonna kill me. Do it quietly. Never know they did it until you were dead. Alright, I think it's safe now to switch to rocket launcher, break this open. Get on the little rockets. How am I dead already? Well, that didn't work out. I don't even know how I died though, so that's fun. Master Chief versus Doom. Doom guy. Master Chief. Master Chief is a ripoff of a lot of things. It's a ripoff of Half Life, Doom. But Halo's fun, but not original. Did make first person shooters like finally make sense on console. Because up to then, unless it was PC gaming, it really just didn't work. But it was Microsoft. They were familiar with how to do it, right? You know, PC gaming. So, Halo's important, but not original. Uh, I mean, come on. Doom is better than Quake, like, so easily, like, everywhere. Same development. Quake just had a 3D engine and stuff, but come on. Come on. Don't be that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that Quake sympathetic person. Quake was great, but it was not Doom. Not Doom for the world what Doom did for the world. Oh, mother trucking BS nonsense. Comes a lot of evil. Damn it. That wall. Oh shit. <laughs> the little guys, I'm telling you. It's always the little guys. The little guys will get you. It's not the big guys you gotta be worried about. You gotta keep your eyes on them, but focus your ammo on the little bastards. You just take away the range shots of the big guys. Focus your killing shots on the little guys. Sneaky bastards. Oh, did I miss you? That was dumb. I'm not an armor. Oh, wait. I'm not even gonna kill you. I understand. Got little kids to kill. Stop chasing me. I'm scared of you. I left you alive on purpose.
get the little guys. See, they set me up to get hit by the bigger guys. Wasn't the bigger guys. I got screwed by the little guys. Always the enemy. Always the little guys. Once again. No, we're only talking about Doom stuff. There's only 18 people in here. No, we've never talked about dude stuff. There's no one in here. No one cares. I'm just pretty much playing Doom at this point. You killed my live stream. The world did. I would have not even been that hurt if it wasn't for the little bastards. Do I have Mortal Kombat? Not on my computer. Oh, come on. That shouldn't have worked for me. Here comes the big boy. No, you did not finish your last assassin screen. You got beggars. Then you stopped staring. True warriors don't want exhaustion stuff. You just stopped killing. Oh shit, how did you... That shouldn't have worked for you, big boy, but here we are. Mining for stuff on the first Mass Effect. Yeah. So tedious. Whoa, who's got distance stuff on me? I mean, you can, Darren. Darren wants to go. What a fucking land. physically capable of being that kind of an asshat. On a Friday night. Good, I'm wasting my unlimited ammo. Who cares about that? 
Well, not that grammar. That's like petty and not even understanding context. Already? That was fast. I'm dead. Because of the little bastards. Oh good, I'm out of ammo. So sweet. I'm on my last day. i die soon. La 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 la. Death is on my way. Oh, there's death. I was waiting for him. Get yeeted. If we weren't under quarantine, we'd be doing the same exact thing as we're doing now. Yeah, I wouldn't be out nowhere. I'd be doing the same shit. I'm not gonna lie to myself like you get yeeted. You know what I haven't tried on this yet? Which I'll try after this. It's some multiplayer. Hey! I didn't give you permission to hurt me. You have to have permission. No respect. And all the armor. You mean. No! Yeah, this is Half-Life. We're still playing Half-Life. Half-Life looks a lot better than you remembered. <laughs> we played Half-Life at the start of the stream. I didn't realize anyone had joined since then, so... We're, we're off of Half-Life now. We're on to Doom Eternal. This would be a really cool mod for Half-Life. How am I dying? I hate the little guys. I'll be ready for some multiplayer after this. So go ahead and kill me, little bastards. No? Too pussy to do it? You're not. You can get me, big guy. There you go. Please, game, do you want to play multiplayer because you want to be where the people are? Fuck you. You want to see you dancing? No. Cultist base mission and campaign? Meh. They're saying I'm not good enough. They're probably right. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, which which demon do I want? Is that what I'm doing? Okay, but what if I wanted to be a person? I guess I'll be a... It's not letting me choose anything! There we go. Let's stop! Okay. What am I doing? Go to the abilities tab. Okay. Man, you're not letting me click anywhere except for where you want me to. Return to the lobby, thanks. Jeez, just let me do what I want, dear God. Guess I don't get to play as Doom Guy. I'm just whatever the fuck they want me to be. That's nice. <sighs> so far, I don't like this. Because I'm just this fat ass. I didn't even get a choice in the matter. That's nice. Jockey for precision. So you're going to teach me. Look how slow I am. God, I hate this. Oh my god. This is a rated M game. How are you giving me tutorials on how to walk right now? Stop. Just let me figure it out and die. No! Okay, I could summon demons. Yay! Yay! I, I could click buttons. What do you want me to do? You're not gonna let me move until I do whatever stupid thing you want me to do. I might. All right. Like, just let me play the game. Stop. I will figure it the fuck out. Stop. When are we going to play Spyro? Spyro? What is this? What do you take me for? Not a channel for children. Yeah. But I secretly love Spyro. Spyro's fine. But they only had like one good game. I played Spyro 
played it on my Game Boy Advance. You had a Game Boy Advance Spyro? Oh, yeah. Did that even work? Yep. I doubt it was fantastic. I think I played. You never played on, like, PlayStation? Uh, no. So you never even played Good Spyro? Well, you know my brother. You never even played Good Spyro. All right, I'm not doing this. It won't even let me. It won't even let me. I'm not talking to you right now. It won't even let me play the damn game. Online match. Slayer. Sounds good. Wait, I think I played Spyro on your PlayStation. I don't know. Good, I could be the Doom Slayer now. Just let me do what I want to do. That's all I ask. Just let me kill things. I'll figure it out. This guy is Greyfire. What are you doing back there? Be quiet. Shut up, Jeff. You're too young, Darren. I'm not gonna play Spyro! No, I'm telling Darren to go play Spyro. He's too young. Versus! They all look better than me, and they probably are, because I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm fighting two demons. Sounds bad for me. This will end poorly. Ooh, I got the big fucking gun? No, this isn't the big fucking gun. It's not that big. But it's still nice. Oh shit! Good job, Rayfire. Snuck right behind me. Yeah, my health's critical. I don't understand what I'm doing. I don't know what they mean. Did I kill someone? I lost. Nope, I lost. I don't understand. Uh, speed demon? Sure. Why not? Would you stop mumble singing back there? I'm mumble rapping. I don't care what it is. All I hear is like this weird echo in my ear. <laughs> shooting and die. Round lost. Yeah, I know the round was lost. I'm not hurting them at all. Then I... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what? Round three. Yeah, she mumble raps. Very true. It's her like move. She's mumbling and then be like, why didn't you understand me? I don't know, because you mumble. Oh, 
Can I look at my guns, <laughs> Hamburglar and Brayfire? Please? Yeah, I like Ready Player One. It's a good, good game. Game, not game. Fucking movie. I don't know what I'm doing now. Bored. I've never played Far Cry 2. I've played all the other Far Cries, and I have Far Cry 2, and I've heard it's like the crazy super survival Far Cry. So, let's see. Well, this isn't working. I'm not waiting. What else is there? Ultimate Doom. Yay, more Doom. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, oh, wait, here it is all of a sudden. Hey, what did I say about yawning in here? That's what I'm telling you to do. Uh, live ASMR? No. Freak. Do you have portal? What? Do you have portal? I thought you said, do you have porno? It's like, why the hell are you asking me that? It's a children's channel for adult children. Port. Oh. I'm sure I do somewhere. Right there, portal. It's just not installed. Uh, I still don't think I've played the first portal. That's nice. I've only played portal two. How large is Planet Coaster? I'd like to make some drunk coasters. I'm just installing all my old stream games. How drunk are you? Not yell. enough to tolerate your mumbles. Uh, do you want me to yell? Yes. Okay. How drunk are you still? Yeah. It's been a little while. Not, not that you much. You kind of chugged it and then <clears throat> you didn't make it last. No. <laughs> what are you laughing at now? It's this game has a dirty mind. Uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, that's 11 gigs. That's going to be a hot minute. All right, in the meantime, let's just go to regular Doom and play that for a little bit. And then we'll build roller coasters. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. It is hot in here. So hot. So damn hot. Because you close the door. So you don't wake up these games. Well, he shouldn't be sleeping. Open the window. Uh, yes, he should. Uh, you open the window. You open the window. You're I'm the one playing the damn thing, running oh, the stream. Oh you Are crazy you person. Now answer. No window. Okay. 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 Then you suffer. I'm not suffering. I'm fine. Open the damn window. You're already up. Worst. Thrillville was the best theme park game. I don't even know what that is, but Roller Coaster Tycoon with the expansion packs and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was. So whatever you're saying is a lying load of shit. Please don't forget to close that. Okay. Back to Doom 2016. This game's definitely not as pretty looking right after playing Doom. The Doom new one, Eternal. Yes, Dylan, this game will always be my largest child.
don't have the weapons wheel set up on this. I what did I say about Shut the yawning? Up. My Mountain Dew is wearing off. <sighs> is there no weapon wheel on this one? Man, I've gotten so used to stuff. Wait, there's weapon wheel. Somebody's yeah. saying that the installation might pop might pause when you're on another game. Well, that doesn't sound right. So, yeah. There's too much grain. This is super shocking on this one. Cool stuff, no, whatever. Trying to get reaccustomed to this doom. Hello. Hey, Kyla. Get off me, imp. And more stuff, this is fun. No, 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 no. No 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 Dayquil and Nyquil at the same time. That wouldn't do anything different than just the Nyquil. Dayquil doesn't have any, like, conflicting properties to Nyquil. Silly beans. Done it, you done it. Oh, he got me good. He command man me. Alright, let's check on our download to see if what's his face was right. How about it pausing? You're right. Why would it do that? It's a download, it's not running a program. Uh. All right, I'm going to the bathroom. You enjoy this screen. PlayStation like seven years ago. Um, yes, Gubby Boss video games. I am real. I exist. Shut the door. Um, yeah, I'm born and raised in Indiana, so yes, I Whoa. like living in Indiana. 
Um, if we were to move somewhere else, probably be like Colorado. We like Colorado, right? Yeah. You like Colorado. Yeah. Why are you saying men? Because it's just a boring conversation with personal details. What kind of personal details? Non-ironic likes and dislikes. OMG, people are actually real. <sighs> Screw <crazy>. that. <clears throat> No, not about the weed, Dylan. I'm a good girl. I've never tried. What's in Montana? We skate Dino on it. What's in Montana? I like how cheap it is. That is true. Um, no. Will you shut up? <laughs> I'm turning it off. Why are you turning his B on? That B sounds satanic auto tuned. Um, we seen goes to bed all right. He doesn't stay in bed though. That's the problem. Yes, Indiana is cheap. I have no idea what gas prices are because I haven't left the house in like a week. Do you know what gas prices are? Under two dollars. Alright, I don't remember how this game works. Ooh, Veggie Tales. Uh, but we build roller coasters, right? Because I just put it in sandbox mode. The best mode. The no rules mode. So let's make some roller coasters. Uh, something you guys don't know about me. I'm kind of a coaster enthusiast. Like, if you ever frequent any YouTube channels about that, we call, like, all the normies for roller coasters the GP, the general public. Uh, we know that most roller coasters at your home park, the park closest to you, are just clones from other parks. And we know where to find the best original coasters and all that. Big roller coaster person. Love them. Know too much about them. So we're going to build some. Now, typically when I build roller coasters, I don't know what I'm doing with this path right now. Typically when I build roller coasters on games like this, I actually oddly keep them like somewhat realistic. It's like a habit of mine to be like, eh, if this wouldn't actually be in a park, I don't want to build it. But for this stream, who knows what we'll do. Because I've already built this weird ass path that really any sane park wouldn't have unless there was some theming that it was being designed for. 
So this path on its own is a damn roller coaster right now. Oof. Anyway, let's put a shop in here. Well, Bozo the Clown. Holy cow, that's a big Bozo the Clown shop. You meant the Carowinds or Six Flags? Which Six Flags? Dear me. What kind of a question is that? There's like a thousand Six Flags parks. I've been to several Six Flags parks. You're a GP if I ever heard one. Whoever asked that question? Dylan. All right, let's build a coaster. That looks like uh, it's either a flying coaster or one of those uh, fourth dimension coasters that Arrowhead made before they went out of business trying to make X, which is now X2. <sighs> See, I never played this game. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon. No one played this game. This is like a Steam game. Roller Coaster Tycoon is awesome. So X Dimension, here it is. I like that they name it X Dimension on here. So X Dimension is actually a fourth dimension coaster. They call it X Dimension as a, uh, as a shout out to the coaster X. So Arrow, Arrow, uh, Arrow, not Arrowhead. Arrow was a huge roller coaster developer through the 90s. They made like all the best rides and they went out of business uh, making this ride for Magic Mountain because of how many problems they had. And eventually, after they went out of business, Magic Mountain still had to do more crap to it. And this is a very similar layout to that coaster, actually. Um, I think that's what they're copying. Uh, that's pretty much the X layout. Uh, so I'll put it down so you guys can see it. Uh, Did I write X? Yes, you wrote X. You wrote X2. Because they changed it to X2 when they changed the trains and stuff to make it have less maintenance problems. They didn't change the coaster much, but the trains do ride a little differently. Um, but yeah, you, you did ride it. It was the first coaster we rode that I made you sprint to get to. Oh, yeah. Because otherwise it'd have like a million yeah, year line. ruined our whole day. No, that didn't. The little Mexican boy ruined our whole day. Not because he was Mexican. Just in case someone decided to take that the wrong way. I've been to King's Dominion. I don't think we scheme has. Mmm, no. Probably not. Is that the one in Virginia? Yeah. Yeah, then no. Anyway, so this is what X is. So X is a coaster that you ride on the sides, your little trains on the sides. When you go up the initial lift hill, it is a backward, you're going up backwards. And then it flips you to forward face uh, for the drop. Uh, let's just ride it. I'll show you. We'll just, we'll just ride this thing together. All right. Where's my test? Test. Ride. All right, so you're on this. You're on this thing. And you're on the sides of this train, but these seats that you're in on this ride, they can rotate themselves, which is kind of cool. So you'll see that in a second here. So once you go to the drop, what you'll notice, if they've, if they've mimicked this coaster correctly, my seat's going to rotate. There we go. So that you rotate, and you're face down for this drop. Oh, so weird. And then you flip back around as you're going. And so now the track's kind of at a different spot, and then your seat spins again. I'm not doing anything to the camera right now. The camera's just showing you what happens to these chairs as you ride. Um, and so then you go up and around and then again your chair flips when the ride's not flipping and you just get these weird angles and views um, for a good 13 years this was my favorite roller coaster uh, I think the only thing that's ever been able to beat it for me is uh, Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point um, that ride is just stupid good way better than it has any business being um, for, a, for one of them those RMC hybrid coasters. RMC's made so many, so you would think it wouldn't be unique or anything, but my goodness, that ride. Uh, no, Kingda Ka, I have not been on. 
I don't know how much actual interest I have in that. That's one of those rides that they made to break records, but I don't think they really considered making a good ride <laughs> that much. But I hear mixed things about it. Um, maybe one day. Let's make something, though. What type of ride? I don't know what I got a holy Jesus and crow for. I don't think I said anything that crazy. The yawns, I swear. Okay, then go to sleep. The baby. The baby. I don't know what to build. Let's just build a wooden coaster. Keep it classic, I guess. I need more station than that, guys. Come on. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I don't know. That's up to you. How steep of a lift hill can I make? Can we make it? Wow, that's a steep lift hill for a wooden coaster. All right, why not? It's going to let me. Well, that's already an insanely high wooden coaster, but we're going to break some world records. Deja Vu? Uh, which Deja Vu did you ride? Like, there's been several Deja Vus, and there was one that used to exist in Six Flags Magic Mountain that was actually fantastic. We're just gonna make a stupid ride right now, guys. Like, just absolutely dumb. Like, look at this. Look at this. What is this? This is, like, the tallest building in the world for a lift hill on a wooden coaster. Everybody dies. Well, well, here we go. Higher than Snoop. Nah, it's not that high. Alright, how steep of a drop can I get on a wooden coaster? 81 degrees. Dang. So that's a pretty steep drop. Here we go. Bye, YouTubes. Where's the monitor? I'm taking it with me. Okay, you gotta crank up the volume. Yeah. Crank up the volume. If you hear him and I don't. Okay. YouTubes. I may still be in the chat. We'll see. I wonder if I can make this bad boy go underground. Mm, nope. Alright, how do I delete? I don't remember how to delete. There we go. This is just the most violent, like, end your life coaster ever. No, we're not going to make it a level slope. We're just going to go boom, straight, and then boom. No time to recover. And in fact, it's going to just start twisting now. Because why wouldn't it start twisting at its, like, most heinously fast spot? I just want to make sure everyone's murdered real good. Now we're going to twisty the other way. Just to, for anyone that survived the first twisty, let's just, for good measure, twist you the other way. This is the... Oh, we could keep going higher. That was a huge drop. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. You probably have enough speed to... Probably clear more, but let's give you some sick air time and drop you again here. Here we go. This is the dumbest coaster I've ever made. And we're going to twist you this way now. And then, can we straighten you out? Oh, we can straighten you out sideways. Look at this. So I've twisted the coaster. But now, 
You're still sideways right here. Now we could probably turn you, right? Oh yeah. This this is not okay. This is not what you should do on a roller coaster. We could do down like a helix, right? Oh yeah. Now we're gonna flush you down the toilet because you're just a corpse at this point. So we're flushing your corpse down this helix toilet. Let's get rid of one of those. Now let's straighten you out. Finally untwist you. All in one violent jerking motion. There we go. Straight back up. Straight back down. I wonder if this thing will let me just, for the hell of it, put some loop in here or something. Some loop when we're going like a thousand miles an hour. There's only one ever that I remember the looping coaster that was wooden. It was called Son of the Beast at Kings Island, and they got rid of the loop before they tore down the whole the whole ride. Well, that's kind of cool. So this says it's non-inverted, but we'll just throw that in there. Don't know what it is, but let's do that. Let's do one of these. Bam. Wait, I said I wanted that. Wham. Bam. There we go. Look at that pretty little monster. I don't even know what this is, but we're doing it. And... Let's do this tiny helix to snap some necks. I don't think anyone's alive at this point, so it probably doesn't matter. And we'll throw the second one of those in. I don't know if we'll have the speed to make that, guys. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, I think that's enough to kill everybody, so let's just let it auto-finish however it wants to. So where's... there's a... there we go. Auto-complete. So just gonna go straight home after that. Probably still going like a thousand miles an hour. Alright, who's ready to ride this thing and die with me? Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so stupid. It's gonna take us forever to get up there. My word. All right. Pretty sure it's gonna get very poor reviews when it gives us like the excitement meter and stuff. It's gonna be like, no, this is a piece of shit that should have never existed. The game will know. Not that anyone could get to these rides. I'm not even building paths for them, so. This one I'll let people get to. No one's gonna ride it anyway. They're gonna see it and be like, nope. And I'll be like, yeah, I don't blame you. But this is what happens at Scheme's Doom Park. Doom de doom doom doom. Come to Scheme's Doom Adventure, where everybody dies. Arr. Wait, what happened to the rest of my ride? Didn't we just auto-finish it? Did I accidentally somehow clear it? The hell? You guys were here. You saw it. What did I do? There used to be an end to this ride. Well, is it going to let me test it? It's going to let me test it without a track, guys. I think. I have no idea. Yep. All right, we're all going to die. You saw it. There's no track. We're literally just going to fly off the track because uh, the track disappeared. So now we're on a track that uh, if we don't die from just the sheer force of the ride, we're going to die because there's no track. I didn't even let, know that Coaster Planet allowed you to build a coaster without a, a track. Uh, but... Apparently we did. So we gonna die together, kids. We all dead. The autotune man is leading to you, leading you to your death. Well, I thought the ride would just kill us from the G-force, but now it's just gonna kill us because there's no track at the end, and you kind of need that to live. So this dude next to me. He knows we're fucked. This little water guy. Yep. Man, this is a long lift hill. How high are we? Well, there's X, which felt tall when we were on it. And we're like 17 times that size. Doo doo doo. Da. Da 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 da
Look how high we fucking are We are all about to die Boom, boom Alright guys Come die with me Man, this is a slow end. And here we go! This is not that bad. Oh dear God! Why? Oh, we're all fucked. Where's the track end? Right up here. This is it, guys. There's no more track. End of the road. Goodbye. <laughs> there were no survivors. We we done goofed. We done goofed. RIP! <laughs> F in the trap for everyone. At least it won't let me open it. Because they know everyone would be dead. So only the water bottles were killed. I don't even know how to go back to it. There we go. Alright, let's finish this track again. Alright. So we're going to finish it. Leave it testing and see if any dumbass rides it. In the meantime, we'll build something else. So once it's done testing, we'll open it to the general public. See if any idiot rides it. Let's build another one. Let's do a launch coaster. A lot of these can launch really fast. Let's do something stupid with that. Mm -hmm. uh, call it doom. All right, we could go 90 degrees straight up right out of the launch. Like there's no path. We're just going. And these are actually launch tracks so it should keep going faster in theory as it goes up theoretically we'll see if it works how high can we go that's how high need to delete one and i'm gonna keep using the speed track like why not the whole way never stop accelerating why would i stop accelerating isn't there a way I could control the speed of this? Where is it? I thought there was. Aha! So we need to change that. I don't know what's better. Yeah, nine meters per second. Cool. So I need to delete all these so that we could get it at the right speed. Sorry, guys. We need it to be faster. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Worked it. Makes it. Do it. Makes us. Alrighty. Launch, launch, launch. Alright. We should have enough speed at that point to start going vertically. Don't know if it could go this high. It's only got 100 miles per hour going for it, but we'll see. That's what we're here for, guys. Push the limits. Look how little I made this little hill instantly. You're fucked now. 
All right, I'm gonna have to stop making them for a second so I can turn. We're not gonna bank this turn though. Just instant turn. Ugh. And spiral of death. Yay! All right. Oh, what is this? We could spiral the other way now. Ooh. No, it won't let us. Not enough room. But if I do it this way, then I do it. Like that. Ooh. Alright, let's get more accelerator track. Because let's get to 100 miles per hour again. And then drop us the hell down. Gotta love this happy guitar music. More speed! Oh, everything would break. We'd all be dead. Here we go! Vertical drop with accelerator! Look at this beauty. It's a masterpiece of terribleness. So I like that all of these pieces supposedly are speeding it up as it drops. Dear me. All right, let's see if we can do some loops now. Loop. <laughs> Look how little this loop is compared to that drop. Oh boy. That'll hurt. Everyone dead. Again. Doo -doo -doo. Just doing every like weird inversion I could find. All those need more height. So let's go up a little. We could use some more speed, right? Might as well get some height so we could do more loops. All right, let's go. What other loops do we got? This guy, whatever. This guy, sure. This bitch, done. Uh, this fucker. All right. Who who else? What else we got? Pretzel guy again. Sure. We don't discriminate here. Just kill us all. Look at that one. Look at all this. It's like someone left their shoe untied. And now we have to suffer for it. Now, of course, the way we need to end this is launching us into oblivion. So, back to vertical, 100 miles an hour, straight into the air, then we'll balance it out. And we're still going like 100 miles an hour, then we'll abruptly turn. What is this? Whatever. And then once we turn, hey, go back. We're gonna see all of this. We're gonna go straight for a little while. Realizing what our fate is. Just enjoying this view. Being like, oh, it's so beautiful. And eventually, on this road called life, it starts to get fast again. 100 mile an hour and you're speeding up and you're speeding up and speeding up still going and suddenly you get a little bit of a tilt up and that's it the ride ends you fly off and you die let's ride it
Here we go! It works! I didn't know if it could still launch us vertically, but it's going. Oh dear! What is this? Ah! I don't even know how many ways we're dying right now. But it's a lot. Not as fast as I thought it would be, all things considered. But hey, here we go. This is weird. Alright, will this work? Come on, get up there! Yeah! Oh, nice ending. Goodbye! Into hell's arms we went. Oh, there they go. There, they stopped flying. Oh, it, oh, it didn't work. Oh, look at that bounce. Oh, oh, they're like little rubber bouncy balls. That was unexpected. All right, we'll finish this right now. And, uh... Give it a faster moment, because that didn't really get as fast as I wanted it to. So we're just going to make this vertical drop. And see what happens. Oh look! This drop ended up putting us upside down. I like it. All right, I'll let it auto-complete now, whatever it wants to do. And let's write it now. All right, let's ride a full coaster where we don't just launch off. This would be just the worst ride. I mean, obviously you die, but just still. I do like that this track does these weird loops, though, where you're just kind of riding upside down. That's nice. You don't need barf bags. You're just dead. Just let the barf flow wherever it's going to flow. All right. Now this is going to lead to this huge-ass drop. Here we go. Speed up into the drop, and it goes upside down after the drop. That would actually be kind of cool, to be honest, if someone would do a drop like that. Right of your life, what's this achievement? You did something awful, I guess. Still in the testing stage? Oh, I need to put an entrance. No one's going to ride this. They're, they're not that stupid. But hey, I'll make it an option. If you really want. If you want it. Oh, you can have it. Oh, but you gotta go ahead and reach up there and grab it. Alright, let's open this one to the public. We did it, guys. The ride's too scary and too nauseating. And it's beyond G-Force limits. Oh, well. I don't think anyone's ridden this yet. Has it had a single person ride it? Probably not. $10? Charge you $10 to ride this? Make a trigger sequence. Does that mean we invite, invite an SJW to ride? 
Because then there's a trigger sequence when they're triggered by fucking anything. So this is the Wii Scheme theme park. It's awful. You should never go there. Many guys think multiple rides are too scary. Well, they're smart. I wouldn't ride them either. All right, that's enough of that. Well, I think that's all for me tonight. This is weird, but I enjoyed some of it. Anyway, hopefully you guys had fun with this weird, drunken adventure. Uh, if there's any games you want to see me play in the future, try to choose from this list right here. Because these are games I already own and wouldn't have to buy. Uh. So, yeah. Uh. Until next time. I scheme. You scheme. We all scheme for ice cream. <laughs>